what's this? I'm working. Small, small fairy Tanya, my English teacher. What is she doing here with this, this sewing. saw? I'm I sewing. see you're sewing. <laughs> Why you? <laughs> Because oh, I have a nobody look. Nobody wants to do it. Really? Yes. Everybody wants to relax? Uh, everybody wants uh, to see me working. Yes, that's true. <laughs> Tanya, who is there? <laughs> Relaxing. Oh, <yeah>. Alex. <laughs> boss it's our boss exactly he makes me work hard because uh, in russia men and women just uh, separate their working women work hard and men just having a very relaxing <laughs> moment yes it's traditional style. i've never heard about that no, no, no. i'm surprised no no it's the truth all the family live like this men for relaxing and women for hard work you're lying no no you love this you love this job oh my god have a look yes have a look just as the truth i never know Okay, okay. I'm not going to disturb you. Do what you like, do what you want, and I'm going to have a tour around your dacha. Is he sleeping? No. No, of course not. <laughs> he says he, he envies. <laughs> Sometimes he envies women. So, Tanya has bought a small, small, tiny, cozy Dutch house. This is a kitchen in a real wilderness, in far, far away village, in the forest. Shop, Shopley. We are in the forest. It's not a garden. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my god! <laughs> What's this? Are you asleep? I'm pulling, pulling stone branches now because I'm going to do a big fire. A uh, big fire is, is a nice decision for sure. Can I help you? Yes, I will. I will stop filming now, right now, and I am going to help you. I can't stand it. <laughs> now I know everything. My eyes are opened. Men in Russia are needed for inspiring women to work hard every moment of their difficult lives. I see. It's a um, um, piece of happiness. Tanya invited me to visit her, her dacha, just to watch how is she working and what is she doing with these tons of branches. At night. Without me, please, because I'm upset. Pioneer fire. Pioneer fire. Yes. Sounds good. Uh, Tanya promised to cook pancakes for breakfast today in a small village, but we forgot to buy sunflower oil. And so here is a grocery store and I don't know, is it possible to feed them there? We'll ask. Wow, just have a look. A typical, typical village, Russian village grocery store uh, with a few kinds of champagne and a lot of wines and of course vodka and our favorite kvass. And I see people here like to eat ice cream 
Prices are the same as in Moscow, 75 rubles, 80 rubles for one ice cream. And uh, this is uh, the section of everything. <laughs> All necessary food is here. Um, you see sausages, mayonnaise, cheese and uh, different kinds of meat and um, dairy section. That's all you need here for your village style life. And uh, cookies, biscuits, waffles, famous all over the world doshirak, um, noodles, instant noodles. What else? Porridges, chocolate candies, coffee, tea. Yeah, I see. Uh, sunflower oils. Uh, is in in boxes uh, 140 rubles for one liter every time i see natural original coca-cola in villagers i'm amazed it's true 150 rubles less than two dollars for two liters i think it's a parallel import from kazakhstan and a lot of canned food and chips chewing gums This small village is located far from Moscow, 320 kilometers from Moscow, 320. Um, and uh, people here are gardeners and here you can buy different seeds to grow vegetables and flowers and uh, berries in your garden. It's very nice. It's like a forest therapy. Mm with Russian birches. Oh, that hard Russian village life with wonderful, delicious Tanya's pancakes in the morning. <laughs> Finally, we have got sunflower oil I hope these pancakes will be filled with the cheese. Mm -hmm. For sure. For yeah. sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, pancakes and Tanya in this wonderful, wonderful wilderness. <laughs> with cheese, it's, as yes. you promised. Yes, with cheese and uh, this hot is for you. Thank you. <laughs> Tanya. How can you do that? It's so hard, it's so difficult to cook pancakes in such a extraordinary uh, conditions. Of course not at all, because it is a village entertainment. Because you know this time moves very slowly and quietly and uh, making and baking pancakes is just entertainment here. It's like just like a meditation for you to mm -hmm. cook pancakes here. I wanted to show um, a little bit of this wonderful, typical Russian and faraway village. With tiny, cozy houses and with wonderful Orthodox church. Wait a minute. I can't help but film this for you. Ancient, magnificent church, Russian Orthodox Church, in a small, small village with 100 houses only. It's a pity, but it's closed. I see the lock on the doors, but it's amazing. And we always keep in our memories the bravery of Russian, of Soviet soldiers during 
the Second World War or a great patriotic war. For us, it's great patriotic war for all Russians. And even in small villages, in small Russian villages, in faraway villages, we have Orthodox Church and monument to soldiers. And this wonderful uh, one floor building, do you know what? This is Village Club with cinema, with different facilities, just for entertainment. Oh, our Tanya has a great talent. She's a diplomat. And she asked this wonderful woman to open this church for us. Can you imagine that? Everything is possible if you are a good person. This church was founded in 1869. It's after restoring works now. It's an amazing place with old icons, ancient icons. It's hard to believe that in Soviet times here was the storage of seeds. Just have a look. It's gorgeous, but now we have a chance to see all these icons. It's a miracle that they are saved. This is very cozy village, but I see that some houses are abandoned despite they have uh, famous Russian gas here in this village. And you can see very good uh, asphalt roads here in this village. And it's time for blooming. All trees are blooming. I think it's cherry. And people live such a quiet, Life here, far from civilization. I adore such places. Truth be told, I didn't have a plan to shoot a video today, but I can't stop now. Russian villages are so attractive and the houses are different each house has its own style and design I think it's about love oh my god you are so beautiful are you a cockerel and where are all your hands mm. The owner said that uh, she had two cockerels, two big cockerels, but one cockerel was eaten by wild fox. Wow. wow. I've never seen cockerels like you. Where are you going? I love you. Cockerel, <laughs> stop. Stop, please. A wonderful hand, the wife of that cockerel. Hmm. Oh, wonderful family in a real Russian wilderness. Yes, I have never ever seen such wonderful. Tanya is amazed as well. The tree, yeah, 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 yeah. And this is the house of the main chief of this village. Uh, She's a woman, and uh, no. her Mercedes. Have a look. Four wheels, not Mercedes. Maybe 
maybe it's even BMW. What do you think? Tanya is our driver today, the best driver in the world. She moves slowly and we can admire this fantastic village. Oh, you can buy this house if you want. What I see is it Sakura? Really Sakura? Not cherry tree, or it's the same? For us, it's the same. For us, for us, is it's the same Sakura and cherry tree? This is a black hand because we have a fairy tale about the black hand. air is so fresh so fragrant i like to drink it but now it's time to cook okroshka traditional russian dish uh, what do we need for this dish first of all russian kvass two bottles a uh, dill thin onion potato radish uh, mustard, this is what? <sighs> I don't remember the name of this one. Um, smoked chicken, cucumbers, eggs, sour cream. Let's start. There is no running water in this village. That's why we use this equipment to wash vegetables. This water is from the local well and it's very clean and full of minerals and appropriate for drink, drinking and cooking. So while my friends are working outside, <laughs> I'm, I'm cooking Akroshka. <laughs> oh, sorry guys, my friends are not working. <laughs> They're having rest, some of them. Excellent. Nobody disturbs me. Or they may say, Why are you filming the super kroshka? Everybody knows the recipe. It's not interesting, my dear foreign viewers. Do you know the recipe of Russian soup or kroshka? Russian cold soup. My dear Russian viewers, please write down your own family recipe. I am very interested. I adore to watch how people are working. I'm so happy, <laughs> I'm so happy to even work here. It's not a cellar, don't think so. This is okroshka and it's gonna be soup. But first we need to boil potato. It's getting dark and our dinner is ready. Dinner in Russian style. And just have a look. What will be going on? I trust Tanya. <laughs> she can oh, do it. Oh, wonderful smell, really. Mm -hmm. A romantic supper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's not salad. Mm. Don't forget about it. <laughs> Romantic atmosphere and now... Now kvass. So uh, as for me, I think kvass is some, some, something between beer and lemonade. <laughs> yes, in between, but it's a Russian beverage. Uh -huh. free, free of alcohol. alcohol free, free. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because uh, we... Um, follow the healthy way of living. Yes, that's why we eat Russian soup akroshka. More, 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 more. Wow, that's great. So beautiful. Uh -huh. Marina cuts everything in the best way. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Marina is the best cook. Mm -hmm. in the world. Fully Every, agree with you. Everything she cooked really 
it's great and delicious really thank I you thank you it. thank you thank you and now uh will you show us okay and the second one for alex and Please. then and then we need to add sour cream horseradish with mustard or pure mustard and salt with herbs yeah okay as you told me i will do it because yeah i believe it is the best recipe my I dear viewers you, yes you already remember this recipe of course of course this recipe is really very exclusive, exclusive. <laughs> it's worth following We'll have to add the horseradish and uh, mustard, mustard with horseradish. Mustard yes. With horse radish. Yes. I haven't tasted it before, but I think it is. Um, it's perfect. Perfect, really. Like this. It's my traditional re recipe. Uh, have a look. I will try to do it in <laughs> some way because no holes. We are still in the forest <laughs> while Tanya is trying to open <laughs> this bottle. Everything is ready, dear friend, okay. Alex. <laughs> We're waiting for you. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And salt and mix it all together. And have a look. How many firewoods we have got? What are we going to do with this firewood? I think great fire. Yes, we will do a great fire and we will probably sing some songs. Maybe. Or probably listening to the silence. The silence. <laughs> Thank you for helping me because I have a day off. Today. <laughs> yes. And I like, what are we going to do with potato? So, it's hot uh, and Marina, it's like additional. Yes, Marina taught me that we will have to peel this potato and mm -hmm. we will have to just bite it. Uh, mm -hmm. with Together with the okroshka. okroshka. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. How is it? Mm, I can't stop really. Oh. It is very, very healthy, fresh. And I can eat it uh, a lot of spoons. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. you're welcome. Enjoy your meal, my dear friend, Tanya. Oh, thank you. В душе хорошо, в душе, и в общем даже ладно, что прохладно. Вечером море нет плохой погоды у природы. Волна накроет и в следы все смоет и не стоит Думать дальше, чем сегодня в планах нет ни грамма Тоски не натянув носки, надев кроссовки, кеды, смотав пледы, уйдем И тот пустынный пляж запомнит нас с тобой вдвоем И пропоет о том, что мы еще придем а ну, если ты одна придешь сюда, то знай, мы будем здесь всегда. Давай, пока в твоей руке моя рука, пока в моей руке рука твоя, пока. В душе хорошо, в душе и в общем даже ладно, что прохладно. Вечером у моря нет плохой погоды у природы. Dear viewers, and here is the link to my best videos about how Russians spend their free time.